Hey, it's Tesla Connect here. I actually learned something new about the Model 3 today. Let me uh, explain it to you. So I work a lot in the mobile industry, so I basically go through a ton of smartphones. And today, I actually hit a limit on the number of Bluetooth um, uh, Bluetooth keys that you can have on the Model 3. So if you're new to Model 3s, if this is your first video, um, Model 3 owners can use their smartphone as a key. And here's what happened today. Let me show you. Okay, so here you can see that I am going to start to set up my key on my phone, so a Bluetooth key. And what that allows you to do for people who don't know, it's basically like having a key fob in your pocket, only it's your phone. So you, you have that option with the Model 3. All right, so I'm gonna start to, um, I guess, pair so that I can have this phone as a key. And then you can see this message here. It says, your vehicle has reached the maximum number of stored keys. Please remove at least one key from controls lock screen, sorry, controls locks on your vehicle's touch screen. Okay. So if we go over to the touch screen and we see locks, you can see that, well, I've amassed um, a large number of phones that I've connected to the car. I'm actually quite surprised um, that, that the limit is this high, but if we count them up, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So two of those are the RFID um, keys. So this is the RFID key that you get uh, when you get your Tesla. Basically it's the size of a credit card and you just put it in your wallet and you just hold it up to the side of the car to, uh, to enter and then you place it down here when you wanna drive. So in order to add a, a new phone, basically what you have to do is you have to delete an old phone. So I'm going to delete this phone here. You have to tap your key like this, and now that phone will be deleted. And then what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna show you that I'll be able to add uh, this phone here now that I've deleted one. Okay, so I'm gonna take the card and I'm gonna put it on the console. And now you can see I've been able to add this phone. So that's it. That's what I learned new about the Model 3 today. It's great that after all these months that there's still a few little uh, surprises here that you can learn about. Um, I think it's pretty generous to be able to add, it looks like just about almost 20 uh, keys that should be satisfactory for just about anybody. Even if you have three drivers in your family, a uh, couple of phones, they should be fine. If you're like me and you kind of are either in the industry or if you just you are a tech lover and you go through a lot of phones, you'll probably run into this issue. If not, you may never see this issue crop up for you. But anyhow, I want you to know what it is and then how to uh, resolve it if you run into this issue. That's it for today. Tesla Connect, over and out.